everyone, I'm Sarah Kajamko with your political news update for Thursday, December 9th. Congress is busy trying to get certain bills passed before the lame duck session ends. The House approved the DREAM Act yesterday, which makes becoming a citizen in the United States easier for illegal immigrants. If the legislation is approved, anyone under 30 years old who has lived in the country at least five years and received a high school diploma would be eligible to apply for citizenship. The DREAM Act will now go up for a vote in the Senate, where it is likely to meet more opposition. Also on the Hill, a vote on the Don't Ask, Don't Tell military policy has officially been delayed, according to Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid. The postponement comes as Democrats continue to negotiate with willing Republicans. Senators like Susan Collins says she supports lifting the ban on gays in the military, but only in exchange for certain amendments in the defense authorization bill. Additionally, Republicans say they will stall all votes until this tax debate is dealt with. Visa has become the latest victim of WikiLeaks supporters who are bent on revenge. The credit card company, along with rival MasterCard, were knocked offline yesterday by a group called Anonymous. The anti-censorship group also claims to have hit PayPal, Swiss Bank Post Finance, and the Swedish government website, all for taking a stand against WikiLeaks. While shutting down most of these sites was annoying, no real damage was done. However, Post Finance's online banking was crippled most of the day. The group also vows to release a deluge of secret documents if WikiLeaks is shut down or Julian Assange is killed. And students in the UK are marching towards Parliament this morning in protest of a hike in tuition fees. The government wants to triple the cost of university in order to pay off the country's massive debt. And that's your political news update for Thursday, December 9th. I'm Sarah Kajumko. Check back with RTTnews.com all day for the latest political headlines.